Another classic ballistic pendulum problem. Here we have a bullet traveling, hitting a wood block that's suspended on a string like a pendulum. And in this case, the bullet does not become embedded in the block. It passes completely through it and comes out the other side with some smaller velocity. And the block picks up some velocity and swings up to some final height before coming to rest. So in this case we know for certain that this is an inelastic collision because the bullet leaves a hole on the block. It deforms the block. So we know for sure it's inelastic and we can't use energy. We have to use momentum to get through that collision. The two ways to tell that, an, that a collision is elastic is number one, you're told it is. We're not told that here. And number two, you do the calculation to see if the kinetic energy before and after the collision is the same. Other than that, you have to assume it's inelastic and use momentum. So what I always do with these problems is split them up. My time one is the split second before the collision. My time two is the split second after the collision. And then I know something happens later, so my time three is the time when that pendulum comes to rest and reaches its maximum height. So what I'm going to do is set up my momentum equation. My momentum from condition one has to equal my momentum at condition two. And what I have is m bullet v1, that's the total momentum at condition 1, has to equal m bullet v2 bullet. That's the momentum for the bullet at condition 2, but there are two things moving. The wood is also moving, and both of them are moving in the same direction, the positive, I'm calling that the positive direction to the right, so all of my velocities will be positive in this case. I can plug in uh, everything. I am trying to solve for this. And what I find out very quickly is that I am missing V2 wood. So that's the first thing I need to do is figure out what V2 wood is and then I can come back and plug into this equation. So I'm going to just move over to the side here. And I'm going to use energy conservation. I'm going to say my energy at condition 2 has to equal my energy at condition 3. And this is just for the, uh, for the pendulum. The bullet has passed through and it just keeps going. The bullet has the same energy at condition 2 that it has at condition 3. So I'm not really concerned with the energy of the bullet because it's the same in both cases. It'll just cancel out here. So while I'm interested in is the energy of the pendulum. And at condition 2 it has 1 half m wood v2 wood squared. That's the kinetic energy at condition 2. And at condition 3 it comes to rest m wood gh. So I get v2 wood squared is equal to 2gh. The mass cancels and I get v2 wood is the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 0 0.45 times 10 to the minus 2. Don't forget your units. And that is equal to 0 0.297 meters per second. Okay, so now I can put this back into my other equation, and what do I get? I get 5 times 10 to the minus 3 for the mass of the bullet times its initial velocity, which was given as 450 meters per second, and that is equal to 5 times 10 to the minus 3 times its... Uh, 
final velocity plus the mass of the block times uh, 0 0.297 meters per second and I end up with the velocity of the bullet as it emerges from the block 391 meters per second. So let's think about this for a second. We expect the velocity of the bullet to be less after it goes through the block and it is. It starts out at 450 and it ends up at 391 meters per second. One thing to be careful of in this problem is your unit conversions. The units were given in grams for the mass of the bullet. You've got to convert that to kilograms. Uh, centimeters for the height. You've got to convert that to meters. And then this little strategy I have really seems to help me. Always pick one of your times to be the split second before the collision, one of your times to be the split second after the collision, and then decide is anything happening before the collision? Then maybe you need an earlier time. In this case, nothing happened before the collision. The bullet just uh, arrives at the block. But something is happening after the collision. The, the pendulum swings up and we need that information, so I picked a later time. So this strategy of splitting up the, the time intervals, being careful with your subscripts and labeling things very clearly so you don't get mixed up into which velocity is which and which mass is which.